a funny story I had when I was actually learning to play Darvoka, um, and I was standing and standing and playing. Uh, so I had uh, there there was uh, there was some event right. There was some event that I was at, and um, and it required me to stand up and play right. It was I had to I had to stand and play. So I actually I didn't have a strap. I didn't have a Darvoka strap. And the drum I wanted to play was 12 kilos. It was a, a bass to hola, a clay bass to hola, 12 kilos, right? Big drum. And uh, and I couldn't hold it, right? It was way too heavy to hold. In fact, I had tried to hold that darabuka once for a wedding performance, and that didn't go very well because it was just too heavy. I was uh, very inexperienced at this point. Anyway, so uh, I, I, I tried to secure the darabuka to my body with a strap. Now, I didn't have a strap. So instead, I used a rubber um, a rubber exercise band. So I was using a rubber exercise band to secure the darbuka to my body. Now, a rubber exercise band bounces every time you hit the drum. So every time I'd hit a drum, the drum would bounce away from me. Now, this was inconvenient, to say the least. And, uh, and every time I hit the drum, the drum, the drum would bounce away from me. And it was just a bit of a shambles, really. I mean, all sorts of terrible things happened. I used a lighting mechanism uh, inside the drum to light my drum. I hit the drum really hard, and the lighting mechanism threw out, flew out the back of the drum and crashed on the floor behind me, uh, which wasn't very good. Anyway, I kept playing, and eventually what happened was I hit the drum, um, and the drum bounced back, and I went in for my next stroke, and I smacked the, the joint on my thumb on the, the ceramic head, the clay head of the darbuka, and I, I really kind of hurt my thumb quite badly, and I was out of action for a few days. I couldn't play darbuka because I'd bruised my thumb quite badly. Uh, so that's just, you know, an example of how not to uh, to stand and play darbuka. But again, all of these things a beginner shouldn't have to worry about. A beginner should be comfortable sitting on a chair, sitting on the floor, and comfortable in that position and learn to play like that. That's really important.